might be pablum drinker, hi Jason. Uh, if there's anybody in the room that considers themselves a Christian or a believer and you're drinking pablum, uh, you know, hang in there. But God didn't make all of his God has a sense of humor. He'll he'll create whoever he needs to create to get the message out in truth, in faith, in obedience and trust to God. And uh, there's two people in this room that would like me to be dead. There may be more, but I know two. And uh, I would just say to those two people, here I am. Come and get it. But we got a camera going, so be careful. I hope, are there any children under 18 in this room? If so, could somebody get my attention? Good, let's let her rip the data chip. Uh, there's, there's many people who are powerful in their own minds who have tried to destroy our country. First of all, let me give you some good news. Our country is not going to be destroyed. And the people that have tried to destroy it, uh, they know my name. God knows their name. And somewhere between me and God and all of you, we will have their ass. So let's do that collectively. I'm representing all of you people here that have any interest in what I do. And uh, I love it when people say, well, you should go to your room and prepare. What they're saying is they don't know me. I, I, don't, I don't use notes. I don't prepare. I, I show up, I stand up, and I speak up. And I'm terrible. Mm, excuse me. Uh, I'm terribly humbled to be used in this way today. So thank you for coming. What I'd like to do is turn it over for questions right now because I don't have an agenda. I speak of God, I speak for God, I speak against evil, and I'm gonna identify as many evil bastards as Jason, go ahead. What's it? What's that? The few people? Which two people? I don't listen, I speak. If somebody writes the question, I'll answer it. But what I'd like to do is I'd just like to go right to questions because that challenges me. Uh, is there anything globally that anybody wants me to talk about before we go to questions? Because I'm not here to lie to you. I'm here to let the two people that wish me to be dead to know they're absolutely screwed um, because I'm gonna be dead one nanosecond after God four days. And a gentleman first, then we'll go to him. Listen to this. Yes, uh, I, I'd really like to, in fact, when they asked me what I wanted to speak about, I said, you don't know me very well because I just want to answer questions. But I said, if you force me to say what I'd like to speak about, I'd like to eulogize John McCain, who's a traitor, ex, but me, he's gone. He was executed, I believe it was two bullet wounds to the head. Don't take that to the bank, but he was, he paid the price for six cases of treason and one case of sedition. And John McCain was not only a coward, but he was an evil bastard. And we're being reported. So any of you McCains out there, you don't like it, come and get it. John McCain graduated from Annapolis in 1958. He used to brag about being the bottom guy in his class. This he couldn't even get that right. There were 900 graduates in the class of 1958. He this never would have graduated had it not been for his daddy and his granddaddy, but this he was number 893. So, John, wherever you are, People. and I know where, I believe I know where he is, um, you shouldn't have lied so much. If you're going to speak for America, <sighs> speak the truth. Lied so if you're much. not speaking the truth in America, huh. at some point you are going to be identified and Why do you always have like two different away. names? So, let's start with his grandfather, class of 1906 at Annapolis. Oh, good uh, God. Not a very good guy. They're all from Scotland. By the way, my wife's from England. I have a Scottish name. I hate when but people talk Our citizenship quick. is not in this world. It reminds me of antique Thank you for the amen. places. I, I can't, for those of you who have never seen me before, I can't uh, tell you how old I am to be. Always. Given this opportunity to tell the truth. You John McCain's grandfather realize. graduated from Nathalus in 1906. 
1942, he had had a lackluster We're trying career. To get it was filled by, with yeah. failure and uh, Try to get treason. you on emotions. On August 8th of 1942, 500, 500, 500, 500. he was told by his superior to take your phony baloney land-based aircraft. I'm trying to attack his personnel now. Navy pilots oh, wow. and Marine pilots are trained to fly out aircraft carriers. If you're not capable or trustworthy, they'll give you a flying job. And I had one, so I, I'm not a hypocrite. I was kicked out of a fighter squadron because the squadron commander, and I never name names, Thomas R. Radich. Uh, yeah, he came up to me on Labor Day of Why 1973 funny reaction. Hmm. and said, uh, how come you weren't at your duty station and how come the sergeant of the guard is drunk and how come the phone watch is on drugs? And I said, well, you're the commander, I'm not. I'm a first lieutenant, but I'll tell you this, we have real poor leadership around here. And I said, as I did, I, the guy's name Thomas Radich, come and get it. There's nothing coming out of here that isn't truthful. And if you don't like the way I talk, the doors are open, but I'm here to tell the truth quickly and with mm, lethal quickly. accuracy. So this squadron commander said, well, I really admire you and your great. backbone, but you and your backbone will be out of fighters and flying tramps. I almost said something else. Uh, the movie Top Gun, anybody know what they said? You'll be flying rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. And that's what I did. I got kicked out of a fighter squadron and I got temporarily uh, assigned to fly transport category air. If there's any young male in the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, that their dream is to fly transport category aircraft, I haven't met right. one. Uh, but that's a, that's a penalty. And I was penalized for my mouth. And yet, is on. Thomas Radich is not here, and right. I am. So I think the truth plays this well. This is a thing that I've noticed a lot of people do. They start switching the topic when they start losing, feeling like they're losing the audience. And they go for one of these hack lines that everybody knows that should be funny. And they use that. But... Eh, this is a bunch of bullshit. I'm gonna watch Dark Journalist. Oh yeah, there's the other guy. Would you look at that? Hmm. What channel is that on? Age of Truth. Interesting. That's suggested. But I'll watch that. God, I can't watch Scott Adams. But I'll watch the rest of this. I'll have a good morning. It's midnight or one. When this came on, my suggested. After I was just playing Joe Rogan.